how y'all doing today? Yeah. Well, that's so good. I guess I'm just going to lead off and get it, right? No! No, no, I'm not leaving. <laughs> In fact, I'll tell you what let's do. When we're done, you know, if your teachers and everything can do it, all of you can come by and say hi to baby dog. Now let me go one step further. 
You've got a guy here, his name is Joe Bosick. And Joe, really, with Larry Puccio and other people, came up with this idea about game changers. Now, I want you to listen to me and listen really good. Dial right into me just a second, okay? Let me tell you. Do you realize how long you will probably live? There's a really good chance you could live another hundred years. A hundred years because you are so young with all the advances in medicine and everything, people are probably going to live beyond a hundred years old. If that happens, you've got a hundred great years of all kinds of goodness in front of you. Or you can screw it up. You can really screw it up. And how can you screw it up? You can screw it up with a bad decision about some kind of drugs for a temporary fun time. You can throw it all away. Every bit of it can be thrown away. And people are doing it every single day. And they're dropping like flies every single day. Now, I don't want to scare you, but I want you to know that you've got to do something really important for me. And you've got to do something really important for Joe. And all the people that are making this happen, these great people that are donating real life money in Boone County, we have five schools now in Boone County. You've got to know that Joe came to me and said, would you be our head coach? Well, I've got tons to do, but I said I'd do it. You know why I said I'd do it? Because of you. Because absolutely I love you and absolutely with all in me, I, you're worth it. So it hasn't been easy because I've got tons to do and a lot of these other folks have got tons to do but you've got to listen to me. At the end of the day, you are worth it. And at the end of the day, my gracious sakes of living, you've got so much life in front of you and so much good times. Go have all the good times. Shoot for all the stars. Try to make all the goodness happen you can make happen all around you. Love your family and for crying out loud, love this incredible state. The last thing I'll tell you is just this. You don't really have any idea how good you really are. Do you realize now the whole world is looking at West Virginia? And you know how they're looking at West Virginia today? They're not looking at us like we're second-class citizens. They're looking at us as we're the greatest. We're the place that they want to come to. You know what? We've known it all along. They just didn't know it. You are the very best. You know how you're the very best? You're the very best because you love family and you are faith-based and you are hard workers. Your moms and dads work so hard, it's unbelievable. And not only that, they're good at what they do. They're craftsmen. And we're within a rock's throw of all the people in this country. We're close to them. Go outside and just look around. And just think, if you were in New York City, how much what you would give to have one day, one day of being able to look around and have the beauty all around them that you have every day. You're the best. You don't have to take a second seat to anybody. You are absolutely the best in the world is beginning to see West Virginia. West Virginia is the place. So never be anything but really proud. And promise me with all in you 
that you'll hear my words about this. You have got to stay away from this drug situation. You've got to stay away from that no matter what. No matter what, you've got to stay away. Because it will absolutely destroy you. It's doing it every day to a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of young people. Now, a bunch of you are so young that you may think, well, gosh, how does this apply to me? You've got to get it now. You've got to know now that that's a pathway that you don't want anything to do with. I'm telling you, if you get people around you that are bad eggs, get away. Get away from that. My God, living, there's nobody on the planet that had more fun growing up than me. And I can tell you, to God above, that's one thing that not only did I never, ever get even, even remotely close to, it's one thing I've never tried, and one thing I absolutely believe with all in me that it would have destroyed me. So I didn't have anything to do with it. But I am telling you, no kid, no kid had more fun than me. No way. Because I had the most friends. I played the most sports. I wasn't that great at it, but I played everything in the world. And absolutely, I loved my family. And absolutely, I loved all my buddies and all my friends in every way. It was too much fun. Remember just this, please. That life sometimes can throw a bump in your road. But just keep digging and keep doing great stuff. I mean it. All I can do is sit here and tell you how good you really are. But I wouldn't be sitting here telling you that if I didn't mean it. You're the best. Don't ever forget it. Don't ever forget this bulldog sitting right here. Listen to me. And don't ever, ever forget this governor sitting right here telling you, you're the best. You're absolutely the best. Game Changers is doing great stuff. Thank you so much for letting me be with you. I don't know who all else is talking or what else we're doing. But thank you guys so much for this incredible, incredible donation because it'll make, it'll save lives and it makes more and more and more goodness happen. Absolutely, you should be so proud of who you are. God bless each and every one of you. And I'll sit right here and baby dog will sit right here and maybe, maybe I'll be able to come up here in a few minutes.
movement and connecting West Virginia students and the educators who care about them. Thank you too very much. And uh, I would like to personally thank our principal, Ms. Barry, thank all of our staff, uh, Mr. Hudson, Ms. E for, for making the schedule for the student intensive education. Uh, we're in conjunction with the Hazel Betty Ford Clinic who comes down and speaks and engages with our students often. And uh, they come in and do a really good job. I'm fortunate to be in PE every day with Mr. Brandon Burns over here. So we get an opportunity to see our kids every day and talk to them about uh, the epidemic that's come through our area. And I think it's, it's fair to say that each one of us uh, either have been affected or connected in some way to a family member or loved one or friend uh, in op opioid uh, abuse. Um, I would like to personally recognize uh, a few people here. It all started with a conversation last year, Game Changer did. Uh, Corinne Brisbois came down from the Hazel and Betty Ford Clinic and I asked some people to come in from the community and sit in on some conversations about the, the uh, fentanyl crisis and some things that have affected our community. Miss Cassie Williams was kind enough to be here with me today. She was here since the first meeting. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Turner, Mr. and Mrs. Bias. Uh, I just wanted to, to mention their names because they've been very helpful through this process. Uh, accidental drug overdose due to fentanyl was at 106,000 deaths last year. And the number is increasing. And it's, it's good to get the word out and educate our students. Uh, as you heard Dominic say, it's a student empowered program so that they know what this is. Um, in PE, Mr. Burns and ourselves, uh, we talk to them each day about making healthy choices, making healthy decisions. We talk about exercise. We may not talk about fentanyl every day, but we, may, we have discussions about uh, working out, uh, everything from energy drinks uh, to nicotine and, and, and peer pressure. So we're thankful to have the opportunity to do that. We was also fortunate enough last year to, to show the One Pill and Kill video, which was a great video. Our three through five students watched it. Jacob Gillespie from Scott High School come down. And uh, we introduced all the kids to him. He was a rock star because he was on TV. It was a big deal for us. So uh, we thank you all for coming down. And uh, we'd like for our kids to take home what they've learned, whether it's what they do in PE with healthy decisions, healthy options. We shoot larger. We play soccer. Everybody knows what we do in here. And uh, we thank you all for being here today and recognizing us.
I would also like to uh, thank Mr. Riggs, our Boone County Superintendent, and Mr. Tulane, the Assistant Superintendent, for being here for being here today. And the governor's folks back here, thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to turn it over to Ms. Kim Webb.
epidemic. Kate Snow, the journalist who published the story, starts by saying, I've been all over this country reporting on the opioid crisis, and honestly, this is the worst situation I've ever seen. The name of the story is Saving Boone County, Fighting for Lives in a Place Ravaged by Opioids. So just think about that for a second. You know, this is, this is our home. This is our home. And the worst place that you'd ever seen. You know, I've lived in this community for over 20 years and can personally attest as each of you can, to the crippling effects of the crisis. <coughs> Lives have been lost. Parents losing children. Children losing parents. Families devastated. And an economy that, that has struggled somewhat because of that. A study also done in 2018 found that the cost of the opioid epide epidemic in Boone County was estimated to be $206 million. $206 million for Boone County. That's an amazing number. That's a big number, you know? And so, uh, so and that was Boone County alone. So what do we do to, to address the problem, a problem that large? What do you do? You know, Ray said in there, he was introduced a moment ago, and he always accuses me of saying some corny joke. There's a reason for that, you know? Uh, it's because I do. But, but when you, you say, what do we do about this problem? I think you, you do it the same way you eat an elephant, right? A bite at a time. That's what we have to do. So in 2020, Boone Memorial Health started a Brighter Futures Substance Use and Mental Health Treatment Program. It's run by uh, Executive, Executive Director Frank Tomlin, who's here with us today. So Frank, thank you for being here. We didn't know what we were doing when we started out. We had no experience in that, in that, but we knew we had to be part of the solution. Today, the program has grown substantially, and we have active today, and we had a lot more with us, but active today, we have 140 patients in recovery, all receiving mental health treatment. And, uh, you know, while 140 may not sound like a big number, it is, if you're one of the 140, it's pretty important. We're soon to become a licensed behavioral health center. We've been working through that. And that allows us to, to put a mobile unit on the road. Of course, we know transportation is a problem as well for uh, the unfortunate people who are, are struggling with this disease. This mobile unit was recently purchased through a grant that was funded through the state opioid response and SAMHSA. And this will allow us to take uh, this uh, mental health treatment to those who can't come to us in Madison. The, uh, the other thing that I think we have to do to address the problem, and uh, you know, the old saying, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Boy, is that true. Um, so we really have to work on, on preventing it. Focusing time, effort, and resources on implementing programs that educate the youth, that, that tell us how important this is, that's a crucial component. We also have to work on this problem with public-private partnerships, bringing together state, federal and local governments, nonprofits and for-profit businesses, law enforcement and others. We have to be growing in the same direction on this and get this thing stopped. Thank you so much to Governor Justice for joining us today for your leadership with Game Changer and for your really incredible efforts for fighting this disease. Thank you, sir. I say thank you to Brian Wall and Farmar Stores for their contribution of $90,000 to this effort. And we're proud to partner with them on this project. Thank you to Joe, Joe Bozek and Game Change for bringing this needed service to our West Virginia students. Together, we can, we can make a difference here. So, on behalf of Boone Memorial Health Foundation for Community Health, and in partnership with Farmer Stores, we're proud to present this contribution to Game Changer for the benefit of Boone County Schools.
I got to say just a couple more things real quick. First of all, absolutely, do you have any idea really and truly what these gentlemen stepping up, stepping up and giving this level of money, which is a gigantic amount of money, absolutely to try to make things better in the lives of all the people in Boone County and many, many, many across West Virginia. Please give them a round of applause like you can make. Really. Thank you so much. 